When I planned my trip to Swatchto on 11th of January, it was for one reason only – to get an official confirmation about the serviceability of Scuba 50 Fathoms watch after the warranty period has expired. Now, as it happens, the Auction of Stones model was announced shortly before that and was going to be available for sale on the same day. So, silly me, I've got quite excited that I will be able to, if not buy it, at least have a sneak peek how it looks in the flesh, so to speak, and maybe just maybe even take some pictures. Well, how naive I was. Hello and welcome back! So, yes, I went to Oxford Street Swatch Store in London, where I bought my Indian and Pacific Ocean editions of Scuba 50 Fathoms back in September last year. I was quite lucky because the friendly and very helpful staff did have an answer to my question about what the heck should we do if the movement breaks after the two-year warranty runs out. And I will, of course, come back to it in a moment, but first I did ask about the new Ocean of Storms model. And well, apparently I should have done my homework, because the new black model was not offered at Oxford Street branch. However, it was sold at Covent Garden's Swatch store, which is about 25 minute walking distance. Of course, without any delay, off I went to Covent Garden's store, where another, let's say, annoying surprise was waiting for me. Ok, I must confess, I didn't go to Covent Garden straight away. I did swing by Longines boutique on Oxford Street, because I wanted to have a look at two GMT watches that I like very much and I'm actually working on a video for a homage to at least one of them, so yes, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that upcoming review. Back to my Covent Garden fiasco, when I finally made it to Swatch store, it was an early afternoon and a very friendly staff member behind the till informed me that the new black model was now all sold out, which wasn't a surprise and I thought that is actually good, because it meant that the interest in these blank pen collaboration watches is still very strong. However, what was a surprise, at least to me, was the fact that they had no display model, no sample, nothing, which meant that I couldn't take any pictures of this new watch. Disappointing, to say the least, taking into account all the clever marketing by Swatch Group around these collaborations, I think not having a display model of this new non-limited edition is a missed opportunity, especially in such a busy areas like London Oxford Street or Covent Garden, where people literally come to spend money. So I hope that Swatch will make a display models available soon, and I might even buy this new black version at some point, because it actually looks closest to the real deal. Ok, so back to my second and somewhat more successful quest of the day – the question about serviceability. First, I must give credit where credit is due. One of the viewers going by the name Beyond the Talk Show made a comment that, according to the Swatch store, the movement can be swapped out either under warranty or, more importantly, outside the warranty. After some further online research to corroborate this information, I came across this article from a monochrome online magazine, which mentioned that while the movement can be repaired in the traditional sense of the word, however, the case can be opened and the movement can be replaced in our production center in Switzerland, where we will also recycle the components from the used movement. However, apart from this article, I couldn't find any more information and, more importantly, nothing official from Swatch Group themselves. And that was the reason that I went physically to the store to hear their stance on this issue straight from the horse's mouth, so to speak. So, here is what I was told by the friendly staff at Swatch Store. Once outside the warranty period, there will be an option to send the Scuba 50 Fathoms watch to the service center in Switzerland, and the service center in Switzerland will then be able to carry on the watch repair, which can include swapping the movement, if necessary. In terms of the cost, it will be decided on a case-by-case -case basis, and as I was told, the best Swatch can do is to provide a quote ahead of the repairs, so the customer can then decide either to go ahead with the repair or not. So the main takeaway for me was that the Scuba 50 Fathoms does not become a $400 disposable watch after two-year warranty expires, and it can be serviced after that. Of course, the price of the service is still a question, however, in my books, this is a big step in the right direction. 
What are your thoughts? Well, do let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, I'm pretty sure you will enjoy this one too. And if you found this video helpful, do hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.